Hello, everyone. I'm Henry Zhang from Columbia University. I'm the vice chair of the ATVB Women's Leadership Committee. This year marks the 18th year of the Emerging Scientist Award for Women, sponsored by the Women's Leadership Committee. The award selects five finalists based on the top scored abstracts in the eligible applicant pool. And the winner is selected based on the originality and quality of the abstract presentation. This year, we are proud to announce the winner of the award, Tanya Pang Pachero Banjard from the University of Virginia. Her abstract talks about how she used a single cell analysis to identify a human B cell subset that produces IgM to MDA LDL and as a protective role of CD24. Congratulations, Tanya Pang. Thank you so much. Can you please briefly talk about the research in your abstract? For example, why it is important and what you have found and how it will impact the field. In my abstract, I mainly talk about the um, discovery of B cells, human B cells that produces IgM and LDL. The problem in the field all along is that people know that murine B1 cells, they produce these atroprotective IgM, but nobody have found which cells are in a human. And when we want to actually kill human disease, we actually end up mm -hmm. needing to find those B cells. So that's why we decide to utilize like unbiased way to identify these cells. So we use CYTOF, which is bare cytometry, as well as CYTSEQ, which is like a single cell multi-omic sequencing. So that's allow us to see which B cells that produce um, this, IG, might produce this IgM LDL. And then we went on and used humanized mice that allow engraftment of human cells. So we can see the function of these cells in vivo, human cells also. And this is, I think, very important, especially because this cell is marked by C24, high expression. And C24 is in a lot of clinical trials. One clinical trial is that they try to block C24 and treat melanoma and also a solid tumors. Because there was a study from Herb Weissman group around two years ago now showing that if you block C24, then macrophage can see tumor cells again, and then they can engulf and clear out those tumor cells. But it seems like this C24 is anti-inflammatory and protect toward vascular inflammation atherosclerosis. So there's a possibility that there might be a side effects from the, um, from the tumor and cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. As well as now C24 protein, like recombinant protein is used to treat COVID-19 because they have anti-inflammation role and help help out with autoimmune disease. So I think maybe these patients in the future might have a better chance of protection against cardiovascular disease. This is great. Uh, this research serves as a good example to start from unbiased research and leverage both mechanistic studies and clinical translation. Yeah. Congratulations again for the wonderful work. Thank you so much.